guys, it's Miss Tame here. I'm straight from my living room. Who would have thought that I would be doing kidwise in my living room? Not I. Anyhow, we have a special little guest today. This is Miss Ellie. She's my puppy dog. <laughs> Apparently I'm boring her already. So today we are gonna be continuing our topic of forgiveness. And forgiveness is deciding that someone that has wronged you doesn't have to pay. And all month long, we've been learning about how Jesus was teaching and healing people, doing all sorts of miracles. We've been talking about Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And if you can remember what that is called, go ahead and shout it out to your parents right now. If you said the Gospels, you are correct. Good job. All right, so diving into our story today about forgiveness. Actually, it's not really a story. We're going to be reading a part of the Bible, and then we're going to give you some different scenarios. So our, our Bible reading today comes from Matthew 5, 23 and 24, and this is the NIV version. So if you are presenting a sacrifice at the altar in the temple and you suddenly remember that someone has something against you, leave your sacrifice there at the altar, go and be reconciled to that person, then come and offer your sacrifice to God. Now today we don't do that in that way particularly, but what Jesus is telling us is that we should forgive others before it, it's the most important thing. So I'm going to give you some different scenarios. And today, that Bible verse might look like this. Today, that Bible verse might look like this. Hey, do you need this? I thought you were supposed to say today this something. I did. I did. I said it. I said it like twice already. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So today that might look like this. Say that you are at home because you know we all kind of are at home right now, right? And we're trying to find things to do. You might be wanting to play your video games a little bit longer than what you should. So Say you're at home playing your video games and your brother and sister, brother or sister, really wants to play. And you're like, no, no, just let me finish this level. Just let me finish this level. And finally, it escalates into a big fight. So you have some choices at that point in time. You can make all kinds of excuses for yourself and you can say, it's not my fault. This whole virus thing is not my fault. I'm bored, blah, 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 blah. Or you can say, you know what? I'm really sorry for hogging up the video games all day. Here, you have a turn. That is forgiveness right there. That, that is showing remorse for what you did wrong and hopefully the other person will forgive you. That's forgiveness. All right, so then we have another example of this. <laughs> I caught that one. Um, but that's the wrong box. All right, so we have another example of what this might look like. Say you are getting ready for your basketball game and you are just dunking it and you are just pounding that ball right into the net. You are on fire. You know what? Your friends kind of are looking at you like your teammates. Hey, you're showing off. So during the game, you know, you're out there and you're wide open. Nobody's throwing you the ball. You could have scored so many points, but no one's throwing you the ball because they didn't like the way you were acting before the game started. So you can handle this in two separate ways. You can get really angry at them and say, you know, I was wide open, why didn't you hand me the ball? It's all your fault, blah, 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 blah. Or you could say, you know what? I wasn't acting the way I should and I'm sorry if I was showing off 
before the game, will you forgive me? And more than likely, if you ask for forgiveness before it escalates into a real problem, they'll forgive you. All right, so another way that today it might look like this. But first of all, I have to say I'm getting a little hungry and I happen to notice this piece of candy here. And it is a Reese's peanut butter egg. Those are my favorite. Mm, yum, yum, yum. So good. Oh, I love them. Mm. Mm. Okay. So that might look like this. Let's move on and we'll go, we'll go over one more scenario here. There you go. Um, hey, did you see a piece of candy around here? I was supposed to take that to my mom. Um, yeah, I kind of ate it. Well, I guess that's okay. She doesn't really need candy anyway. I'll bring her some flowers. I'm really sorry. If I would have known, I wouldn't have eaten it. Do you forgive me? Yeah, that's okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what's in box number three. <laughs> ah! What? What just happened here? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so, I guess you could say that when forgi forgiveness happens, it's like celebrating and having a party. And you know what, there are so many circumstances in your life where you get to make the choice. You know, are you gonna be angry at a person? Or if you see that they're acting differently towards you and it might make you think, hmm, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe the best thing to do would be to make that choice and say, you know what, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do that. And chances are they will forgive you. So, again, hopefully we'll be back together for KidWise, but I do think that, you know, I kind of miss going to the gym and playing dodgeball and sharks and minnows and stuff. So, you know what? Maybe we should play dodgeball right here in the living room. Oh, that would be so much fun. Doug, can you come out here and play with me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. So we're gonna set up our lovely dodgeball game here amongst all this confetti. What? <laughs> Can't believe he did that to me. Okay. All right. Okay, go back and I'll say three, two, one, dodge! Dodgeball ever. Oh no, wait, he's not getting up. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right, well, you know what? Hang on, I may might want to take a break here and, and tend to him, and then we'll be back, okay? All right, we got, I got Doug all patched up, got him this sucker. As you can see, Ellie is very concerned about him. I think he's okay. I'm really sorry that I attacked you with all those dodgeballs. Do you forgive me? I, I forget, yeah. Plus, I got a sucker. But I think that doctor was a little crazy. He said my brain was the smallest one he's ever seen. <laughs> oh, and on that, we'll see you next week. Take care.